Welcome, everybody. My name is Tom Devine. I'm with uh, AV Pro Edge, and I th want to thank you guys for joining me today on another tr uh, new product launch. Uh, so, you know, we keep on cranking those new products off. This is not a new, I mean, uh, a super new concept. We're not breaking any barriers here, but you, but we are adding some really cool things to, um, you know, solutions you've probably seen from us before. So we're going to talk about audio extension today. Uh, before I get directly into the product, let's just do some house cleaning. You guys, um, if you're watching on YouTube, just comment below if you have any questions. If you're watching live, thank you so much. I'm in the, uh, you know, AV Pro uh, education bunker, and we're ready to uh, rock and roll on a new product. If you guys have questions live, then you have a go to webinar, webinar control panel. Just click the questions tab inside that control panel, type in your questions. I see them as I'm doing this, and then we can answer questions in real time. Um, so let's get started on today's product. I have slated this for a half hour. We probably won't even need all of that time. This is going to be a pretty quick training. I want to get you guys, uh, you know, the information and get on out. So. Without further ado, we are talking about this little kit right here. So it comes together a transmitter, uh, transmitter here, receiver here. This is an audio kit that connects via category cable. So I have some category cable here. We would just plug in category cable into this end, category cable into this end. And then from this transmitter to this receiver, I'm able to send uh, audio signals. Um, I can go in through toss and two channel and out toss and two channel. So let's explore the ins and outs of this product today. And uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the questions tab. All right, so I'm gonna pull up my uh, PowerPoint here. Okay, it's telling me I'm sharing it right now. So we have our audio extension solution. So this is a point to point kit. Um, that you're able to extend audio signals um, 100 meters away. It says 70 here, that's actually a typo. So it's a 100 meters um, and 130 meters if you're using um, shielded category cable. So let's just take a look at what's the difference between this. Um, you know, why can it go a little bit longer if we're using shielded compared to unshielded? So we have, you know, standard category cable. Here's category five, here's category six. I'm just gonna, de-share this really quick so that is uh, nice and big and so you can see this is they have all the same wires but the only difference is going to be this plastic piece right here this is your plastic piece that's going to actually give that shielding and when it does have that shielding it's able to send those signals you know more confidently longer distances so you're actually able to going to be able to send those audio signals um 100 meters if you're using unshielded and 130 meters if you're using shielded so this is used for any point to point all it doesn't do audio i mean it doesn't do video it does audio only and what it's able to do is it's able to take uh you know up to six channel audio take that in extend it that distance and then export it out into maybe a distributed audio system an avr an amplifier any kind of audio tool that you where you would need to move audio around so it is here here i have 100 meters so sorry that i about that typo on the front again but here we have um you know it allows integrators to send uncompressed audio 100 meters and you can switch between this uh toss link which is spit if out or you have this actual two channel uh, out as well it uses a rj45 connection with cat 5 ear grader and this is you know f the ideal solution for taking audio away from a tv and then bringing it back to the head end um as we know a lot of times the tv becomes the source these days and how do we manage a source inside the tv when we have you know external speakers and things like that this is a great tool to use that and we'll actually run down that scenario here in a second so let's just first take a closer look um we have you know our one side, these this is going to be our transmitter this is going to be our receiver so on the transmitter side you have your plug-in where you're going to connect these two units via um, the category cable you have where your audio begins at so you if you're going to pl plug it into you know this uh, if we're if we're looking over here if we're plugged into the left right two channel and then we want to send it to the left right we want to have the little toggle on the left right if we are going into this um you know fiber toss link um this optical connection we want to move it over to toslink 
And that means now this unit knows where the audio is coming in. Once it is in though, when it comes out on the other side on this unit, it is actually live on both sides. So you can access your 5.1 um, LPCM or your Dolby Digital uh, signals through this toss link, or you can get your two channel signals right through here. Uh, it does, it's not a down mixer, you know, it will just extract your left right signals from that six channel um, audio if you need. Um, and then you, but no matter what you do, they're both live. So you're always gonna have audio out of both of the uh, output which really comes in handy when you're when you're using this all right could I send coaxial digital audio over the RCA inputs um, that's a question that came in so I'm sorry for the um, little break here but um, the answer to that Andrew is no you are not able to we have a current um, which I'll just pull up right here we have a current audio extender um, that you're able to use and you know buy from us right now and we're going to continue to to sell that um, this this tool and right here this is how you're going to be able to use the coax audio and this is still a, a valid product it's the exact the, our new products the exact same price as this product but Andrew we had a lot of uh, our customers who have been buying these and using this all the time they actually wanted something different they didn't want to have that coaxial out they wanted to have a separated left right signal of two channels and so that's what we're delivering so Andrew yes we definitely have that solution you're looking for but it's not going to be on this new product it's going to be on our you know very well high selling product the ac a u d e x digi we just call it the um audio extend the digi audio extender um and it, it's basically very very similar to the product you're learning about uh today but today we're actually able to um introduce also that left right uh um uh, uh audio signal so you have the uh, dual active outputs, you have a toss link input, RCA stereo inputs and outputs. You have a very small durable chassis and it does have a, a 10 year warranty. Um, so now this is just the very simplest, most basic connection diagram that we could really get into. And as you can see, you have your audio source. What could this be, right? I mean, I, as integrators, as installers, you know this more than even what I know could be your audio source, but it could be any type of audio source that is sending anything between a two channel and a six channel signal. Then you're able to take the audio from that audio source using you know, your left, right RCA connections or your uh, uh, toss link in that SPDIF um, audio, then it will go over category cable so we can see this blue line that's our category cable and then it will be out now as you go in this is an or right it's either this one or this one but as we come out it's not an or it's these are both active so even if you needed to go to two different areas you could actually use this it will split that audio for you um and it's just a, a way that we knew integrators they don't want to ask questions. They don't want to go look into a manual when they have just a simple extender. They just need to be able to plug it in and make sure it works. I send audio from this, and when I have audio on the other end, it's live, it's active, and there's no configuration. And so that's what we've provided for integrators this time is with this product. So now let's look at a very specific application, but it's an application that we're seeing, seeing more and more specifically on our residential side. So, um, you know, for all of our pro guys, this is a great solution for you as well. Any point to point applications where you have, you know, retrofits or anything that's coming in, you can use this extender to do that. But for this specific installation, it's really unique and we find our residential guys using this all the time. So let's put ourselves in this scenario. Let's let's look at this um this diagram for exactly what it is. So as you guys can see on the left-hand side we have this dotted line, that's our AV rack. Then we have some other zones throughout the house, looks like two other zones, maybe let's call this one our um living room and let's call this one our patio and the, our, we already got a living room here so this is our kitchen and this is our patio and so now we have our living room and i'm sitting on my couch right here i have my tv i'm going to watch um a netflix uh movie or i'm going to watch you know some sort of streaming app that is inside this tv well normally what would happen is you would just you know listen to the audio that's 
inside the TV, you listen it through through the TV speakers and there you go, right? But you're installing these very, very nice speakers. So how am I going to hear that audio through these speakers on the outside and throughout the rest of my distributed system? Well, one great way to do it is you can actually extract the audio via that um, toss link on the back, send your audio back to the AV rack into a distributed audio system. And now I can listen to my nice, um, big, nice, expensive speakers and hear all of that beautiful uh, um, audio signal that's gonna go with, with my movie. But let's play another scenario. Now you're hosting a little bit and you have some people over at the house and everybody's kind of mingling around and you're in your living room, you're showing off your TV and your speakers and someone's like, oh, the new Taylor Swift album came out. I want, you should definitely listen to that. You don't have it, but you know, you have Spotify, but you're getting fumbled. So they show their phone, they have Spotify. They say, hey, no worries. I'll just cast it right to this computer. I'm already on your network. So then, or not to this computer, but to this TV. So you have three guys, they're sitting in this living room area. One holds up their phone. He casts the Spotify signal directly to this TV and they start listening to the new Taylor Swift album. But because it's a fun party that everybody's hanging out, why doesn't everybody listen to that Taylor Swift? So now that even though we use this TV as our connection point, because we have this extender set up to go into a distributed audio system, now we can have our patio and our kitchen and everybody can listen to that exact same audio that where the source is, the source is actually in this guy's hand from his phone that's sitting in this living room and he's just sending it to this TV. But with these extenders, they allow every single TV or display that they're connected to to be the audio source that can be used for whole home audio distribution. It's really a really absolutely beautiful uh, uh, a way to use this, this extender. Think about for sports, you're watching the game at home, you're going to the kitchen, you don't wanna miss anything, so what do you do? You don't have a TV in the kitchen, you still have your speakers, you're listening to the game while you're watching it in your other room. It's it, it, This is that simple solution that's gonna open up all of those um, features that end users want to see today. And so let's look at a few applications. That was, uh, uh, you know, very specific applications, but you know, the basic application is just point to point digital audio or two channel audio extension right here. Um, you can bring those digital audio signals from your smart TV to your back to your rack for further distribution. You could also send audio standalone separate so that you can still work with maybe legacy AVRs that aren't going to be able to handle the new, the newest 4K or 8K audio, or I mean video signals, but they can still handle those audio signals just fine. You can separate your audio and video. Use this just for your audio to go into an AVR that's maybe rack mounted, hidden away, so that your um, you know interior designer can still make the concept look very um, you know complete. Also, retrofitting existing infrastructure. If you have a building that was, you know, built 10 years ago and they have some old Cat 5, you know, they're wondering how am I going to get, you know, you know, full audio distribution into this area? I, I don't really know. Well, now you can let them know that, hey, this existing infrastructure that you have, this old category cable, I can actually use that for the audio extension you terminate yourself you put place your audio sources and your um your uh, amplifiers or avrs in a, a different area and then you can distribute that audio signal using this um, solution so uh the website is up you can go to avproedge.com slash um ac dash aex dash kit or just you know v view it through our products or our all products tab uh, a lot of ways to get the get there but here you're going to be able to find the quick start guides find the pictures the diagrams anything that can help you um, in installing or selling this um, a question did come in from thomas so i just want to um uh let him or answer this quick uh, will the analog left right signal be digitalized for the transmission over cat cable yes uh, that is exactly what it will be do done and then it, it's still converted back over so that you can still have your um you know the audio that that you were meant to have but yes it it does it it, it even though it's uncompressed it is still digitized um to run those to run those distance all right any other questions guys bring them on in
Um, this does have a 10 year wa warranty. So you have, you know, all of the confidence of the AV Pro engineering team behind you on this. If there's a problem, we'll take care of it. Well, you know, we have that advanced replacement as well. So we can, you know, get that to use and uh, make sure that your job site is down as is, 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 you know, short as possible. Uh, but in, mo in most cases, because you're using AV Pro Edge, you don't have to worry about those kind of things. Another question came in here. So let's uh, answer some of these. Um, Joshua had a question that says, does this require power from both ends? Uh, no, it doesn't. So um, here's the power supply that comes with it. Um, so you have your little uh, 12 volt, volt, two amp power supply. As you can see, it has um, two, uh, power on both ends. So you have the option to power either or Josh, but you only have to power one. So once you power the other, it's gonna use you know PoE to power the other side. Um, I hear, if you guys, I know it's small, but I have the American style plug here, the, or the North American plug. You, it, we have in our warehouse, wherever, for all of our international folks, whatever kind of plug you need, we can ship it with that type. All right, uh, USB power would be ideal. And Josh, that's a, that's a great point. And this doesn't have USB power, but we do have USB power for this one. So if you are needing to power via via USB, we have that option available for you, Josh. We would just, I suggest using the AC, uh, the Digi uh, audio extender instead of the new um, AEX. And they're the exact same price. They're, you know, just two different parts that, that can um, fit different types of solutions. This one can go 150. This one can go a little bit shorter. This one you can power from the um, USB. This one is going to be able to have both of your audios be active at all times. This one is only gonna have one of them be active at, a, at the time, uh, the Digi, where this one is going to have them both active, plus also is going to allow you to have 5.1 out of here and then extract the left right of that 5.1 out of out of this one as well so just some different variations uh but but great questions and thank you guys for bringing those up um let me get back to our powerpoint here so um you know i've been bringing at that that other one uh a, a lot but you know that is, if you're if you're currently buying that one no problem. That is a great, great extender kit. But you just may want to try this one. Maybe you'll have an idea where that two channel is something you're looking for, or you like, uh, you know, the black box better than the white box. Who knows? You know, it could be a hundred other reasons. But now you know that this other option for audio extension is available, and it's available um, through everywhere you can find AV Pro Edge through all of our great distribution partners. Um, we have great uh, representatives in all territories. If you guys have any questions on, you know, where you should get it or who is carrying us, give us a call. I have our, inform our phone number here, 605-274-6055. We can definitely help you out. If you guys have any questions that you'd just rather email, um, you can email it to our general email, info at avproedge.com. But hey, I'm, I'm, my name is Tom. You can email me at Tom at AV Pro Global as well. I'm always available uh, to answer any of you guys' questions. And let me see if any other questions come in. All right. Uh, Jesse has asked, is the down mixer, I mean, is the receiver down mixing 5.1 to two channel? And the answer to that, Jesse, is no, it is not. Uh, this is not a down mixing piece. Now, once again, we have a we have down mixing pieces. So if you go here to our audio tools, you can, you know, definitely um, we have down mixing available where you can down mix, you know, even with this one, you can even down mix eight channels, 7.1 Dolby, and then Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Plus and all of the great, um, you know, uh, uh, bit stream audio, you can also down mix with this device. Now with the device that you're learning about this extender, this is not going to down mix. It is only going to actually just take the two, the left and right um, channels out of that uh, six point or that six channel signal and then extract those two. Um, it's not going to down mix. So great question, Jesse. And I do want to definitely make sure that we're clear because I would hate for you guys to get on site and then uh, think something's going to be different. But definitely a great piece here. Um, it is available like all of AV Pro Edge products. When you learn about it, it's available now. So you can buy it, you can contact us, we can get them in your hands. 
Um, since there isn't any other questions, I wanna thank everybody for joining me today. If you do have any other questions after this, like I said, just follow up, no problems at all. And I'll be sure to uh, make sure that you guys know about it, uh, any other future trainings or educational sessions that we have uh, going from AB Pro Edge. And be sure to look for our, new, our newsletter that comes out at the beginning of each month where you can really lay out um, what's gonna be happening throughout that AB Pro Edge month. All right, and that's all for Tom uh, here in uh, sunny uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So thank you guys very much, and we'll talk to you later.